Hi there, I'm Jonathan uh, here at Fantasy in Frames. You can find me over at Jake Lenofsky NFL on Twitter. And I'm here today to bring you another video in our 2023 prospect series, talking about one of the top wide receiver prospects in the draft this year, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Before we get started, uh, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to Fantasy in Frames so you don't miss any of our fantasy football content this offseason. So let's get into it. Who is Jackson Smith and Jigba? Well, he's a 21-year-old junior who is likely to be the first receiver off the board in the upcoming NFL draft. And he looks set to be the consensus wide receiver one in upcoming Dynasty rookie drafts. He had a sort of injury-plagued 2022 season, but in the time that we have seen him play has shown some huge potential, which we can hopefully see at the next level um and especially kind of given the caliber of players that he played with um during his his time at ohio state which we'll kind of get into in a little bit but first let's look at his um at his profile at, at his at his measurements so at the combine he came in at six foot one 196 pounds and performed pretty well at the combine, ending up with a relative athletic score of 9.41 out of 10. So a very athletic prospect that we're looking at here. The um, shuttle and three car numbers at the combine were particularly impressive, kind of clearly sort of demonstrated his, his agility, um, which is sure to translate into the next level. He didn't run a 40 yard dash at the combine, but he did clock in at 4.48 in uh, at his pro day. Um, so, yeah, we're not looking at the fastest prospect in the world, but it's more than enough for us to get excited about. So if we look at his production over the years, I mean, he's a five star recruit. He's kind of the next product in that Ohio State wide receiver conveyor belt that we've seen over the last couple of years. Um, he had a fairly quiet freshman season and then really exploded onto the scene with around 1,600 receiving yards in his sophomore season before, as I said before, a kind of injury played final season at Ohio State. That sophomore season, it's, it's worth reiterating that he played with two first round wide receivers in Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, outpacing both of them in receiving yards. So we can really see the calibre of receiver that we're talking about here when, you know, these two first round wide receivers um, who are now going as kind of top 12 dynasty wide receivers. That's the kind of calibre of, of prospect that we're that we're talking about here. And in fact, Garrett Wilson has actually stated that Jackson Smith and Jigbert is potentially the most talented of the three, um, which is very high praise indeed. Um, in that sophomore season, Jackson Smith and Jigba ranked fourth in yards per route run across all FBS wide receivers with at least 50 targets, according to PFF. Um, so again, we're really looking at a, a, an elite wide receiver here who should hopefully be able to make an immediate impact on your dynasty teams i mean one downside is that we only really have that one season to evaluate him that sophomore season um but to me it's more than enough to really demonstrate um his potential and how excited we should be to have him on our dynasty teams um in in the next couple of seasons um one key thing to mention about his production is how much he played in the slot. Um, so over the three years with the Buckeyes, he played around 85% of his snaps from the slot. Um, now, while this might concern you to, to start with, if you first hear it, I'm not too concerned about that. You know, we've seen plenty of success from wide receivers who are playing the majority of their snaps in the slot. I mean, if we look at the really top end of that list, the likes of Cooper Cup, C.D. Lamb, 
Amon Ross St. Brown, Keenan Allen, all playing over 50% of their snaps in the slot. So while 85% is certainly high, to me, it's all about being in the right system. And, you know, hopefully we'll see him as he progresses in the league, as he develops, that he plays kind of both in the slot and, and on the outside. But I don't think that is something to uh, to be too concerned about. Um, he's certainly going to be a, a slot receiver to, to start with, but that's not to say that he can't progress to the outside as well. So in terms of his strengths, I think, as I said before, his agility is something um, for us to be really excited about, as we saw um, in at, at the Combine. Um, his, his college quarterback said that he was one of the best route runners that he's ever played with in his entire life. And it's the kind of thing that you see on film and getting open um, in the middle with that agility, with that um, crisp uh, route running. Um, he's also got really good hands, you know, over the, those three years at Ohio State, barely had any drops. Um, and he's got good yards after catch ability, as I said before, certainly not the quickest prospect, but he has more than enough speed to get you those all important yards after catch. Um, and, you know, in that sophomore season, he had a good chunk of, of, of those yards I mentioned before, where, where after the catch, he had plenty of uh, forced missed tackles. So again, it's something that we should hopefully see at that next level. So some potential landing spots that I am excited about. Now, the first one, very biased pick as a Green Bay fan. But the Packers, to me, would be a fantastic uh, option. Um, there's obviously a need to surround Jordan Love with um, more uh, pass catching weapons. It is a very obvious need. It's been a need for years. Um, and he would immediately step into a key role in the slot there. Um, and I think that combination with Christian Watson on the outside, that big play ability from him and having um, JSN in the middle would be a really, really good balance um, and would, you know, I think you'd see um, immediate returns um, from him if he were to go to Green Bay. Another one that I'd be excited about is the Chargers. Um, you know, Keenan Allen is kind of starting to come towards his sort of final stretch of, of his career. There is a definite need um, for the Chargers to get more pass catches, particularly with the injury um, issues that both Mike Williams and Keenan Allen um, have had. And, you know, him teaming up with a young quarterback in Justin Herbert is what is what we want. We want that long term success and that and that stability. So I think that could be another really good option for him if he falls kind of um, a little bit in, in the draft. And what about the Texans? They're picking, they've obviously got their um, pick second overall and then their second first round pick at 12. And to me, this would be a kind of similar situation to Green Bay where he'd immediately be able to step into a key role, immediate, immediately command a high target share from a rookie quarterback. I mean, you look at that room at the moment, it's the likes of Robert Woods, John Mechie, Nico Collins. So, yeah, immediately able to step into a key role, potentially be the target leader on that team. And now, you know, at the time of recording, there's a lot of buzz around Will Levis potentially going to Houston. But what about the possibility of pairing up cottage teammate CJ Stroud and Jackson Smith and Jigba? I mean, as a, you know, as a potential dynasty manager, that's something that would get me really excited, having that having that connection there already. So they, they are three landing spots that I'd be really, really excited about. So what about the dynasty cost? Well, if you look at Superflex draft, if you look at kind of early ADP, he's going to be kind of coming off the board as likely as the first wide receiver around that kind of 105, 106 spot after Bijan and um, the uh, top three quarterbacks. I think the 105 
he's going to be the main position where dynasty managers are, are going to have to decide between Jackson Smith and Jigba and Jameer Gibbs, two really, really good prospects. It's going to come down to landing spot. It's going to come down to team need. Um, but JSN, someone that I think you can be really, really excited about at that position. So they're my thoughts on Jackson Smith and Jigba. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know where you would like him to land in the uh, in the NFL draft. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. And please remember to subscribe to Fancy and Frames for all of your fantasy football needs this offseason. Thank you very much.